So it's hard to tell how much difference it's going to make, but we have, in fact, gained a couple levels since uh, since we last stopped in on the old monster sanctuary. I did a little bit of grinding last night, night before, I can't remember. Um, got everyone up exactly two levels, um, and we're going to give Will another go, but first we spend the skill points. I figure I'll do this on camera just because it's just to give you some concept of what I'm getting and what I'm doing, you know, it just it just it just makes sense, right? It just makes sense. I don't know if that would trigger when he's <sighs> That's actually very tempting to try and pick that. Try and pick that up to see if I could just do a little bit extra damage every time I slap a debuff on something from healing. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do for sure is gain more health though. Um, I don't think there's anything else that's jumping out at me. I mean, that would be nice. That would be nice. Maybe I'll, I'll aim for aging. Because aging seems like a pretty pretty cool ability. Um, I don't know if it's anything particularly useful for him, mind you. Oh yeah, damage reduction and mana regen, yeah, for sure. The extra damage isn't super helpful, but everything else is nice to have. I'll upgrade Bubble Blast just so he has a little bit more damage. In fact, no, actually. Actually. No, no, we'll look great, Bubble Blast. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I know how this works. I was thinking, oh, I'll just get some mana, but that's not how you advance to the next tier. Okay, cool. We can get aging next time, should we have the option. Um, we were... That would be nice, actually. Yeah, we'll get, we'll get Demotivate. And uh, I guess a more powerful spore is a thing to have. And a more powerful voltage. I'm not sure which one's more useful in this fight. I can't actually remember what monsters he uses beyond the, the horror moth. I'm thinking I'm thinking spore is probably more useful of the two at the moment. Uh Guy Ball, you've you've really gone hard on that tree, hey Guy Ball. That's absolutely through no uh, input of mine whatsoever, of course. Uh Spectral Flame won't be useful for this fight, although I would like to get it eventually. Is there anything down here? That's nice. That's not super useful. Yeah, neither is that. Hmm. I think we'll probably just uh, gain some more defense. I don't think that's going to be super useful in this fight either, but it's, it's there. It's accessible. Oh, that is actually that's from equipment. Yeah, that's not super useful. Yeah, we'll, we'll get we'll get mana stability, and we'll get let's get him some more mana. Honestly, I don't think there's anything else jumping out at me that will be super helpful right now. Giving him a heal is an option, I suppose, but I don't I don't really care. Every attack triggers an additional hit equal to 35% of magic value. Why haven't I got that? What is wrong with me? There we go. <laughs> That's sensible. That's a thing to spend points on. Uh, we'll be going into this tree for some reason. Magic plus. Once against two random buffs when a monster is knocked out. When applying a buff, also apply shield. Uh, it's not... I mean, I guess the extra health and defense and stuff is nice. There's not really much in that tree to get excited about. I think I might just get Chilling Wind, level 5. And I guess defense proc? His defense isn't amazing, but it's like an extra 130 damage, right? Better than nothing. Quillfish. Quillfish. Where are we what are we doing with you, Quillfish? Hmm. Now we'll get him more health. And then I guess another rank of protect is a, is a thing to have. Yeah, there's not. Getting taunt on him would be nice. And maybe that health regen stuff, but no, we'll just get protect. We'll just get protect. 
Execute. Uh, I feel like I had a goal in mind for execute. Was it going down this tree for a reason, particularly? Hmm. I mean, that's nice, but I'm not sure it's worth going all the way down the tree for. All shield effects of monsters in the party are increased by 10%. Yeah, more shielding. Can't really argue with that. And I guess we were sort of dabbling in here. Enemies receive 3% increased damage for each debuff on them. Yeah, that will be a nice thing to, to aim towards. So let's just grab whirlwind level 4. Uh, that's everyone. Okay. I'm not sure how much difference that is going to make at all, but at some point we're going to have to bite the bullet and just try and beat Will, so uh, let's go. Let's go, we can do it. I'll be invisible. You'll never see me. i sneak past. <laughs> Alright, okay. Um... And there it is. That was so criminally overkill, it's not even funny. I'm gonna cut out that fight. I'm gonna keep cutting out all these fights against Will. I, I don't I, I straight up don't know how to win that. I don't know where my victory is. I think maybe we can we can beat Gotthelm. Gotheim. I think he is slightly easier, possibly. And I do feel more powerful now, but Will, I just don't know how to overcome. Aside from just grinding until I'm massively higher level than him, I don't know what the solution is. Okay, well that didn't go well either. I don't know what I can do anymore. I really don't know what I can do. This may sound really depressing and defeatist, but I, I, I don't think I can finish this game. I straight up don't think I can finish it unless, as I say, I literally build a new meta team out of all of my monsters I have here. Grind them all up, give farm food for them. I don't even know where you get food, but farm food for them so they have perfect stats and everything. And doing that at this point, I don't even know if I'd be willing to do that. I'll give Will one more try. Here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. We kill the golem first. Which means... Which means leading with different people. But we kill the golem first. Hopefully the bird won't be as big a threat. I wasn't expecting that golem to become the new hurdle to get over, but it, it kind of seems to be. Um, to beat the golem, we need Wubat. And we need a third. Maybe we bring Ghastly in and play a shield healing game where we just chip away at the golem. Just stall him out for the first big part of the, of the match. It's a thought. It's a strategy. I don't know if it's a winning strategy, but it's a strategy. Fuck it up. Good, good. Big burn. Big burn. Can technically two turn that if we're lucky. Then of course the moth comes in and we don't have anything that's good at killing the moth. Hmm. That's where things get nasty. I'm thinking, wow, it's a big difference between Ignite 3 and Ignite, uh, sorry, Ignite 5 and Ignite 3, right? Big, big difference. If I just keep spamming shields, I can maybe get myself to a point where I can sort of stall out the moth. No, because I need the physical damage on it, because it, it just shields itself back.
thinking maybe I shouldn't have led with Ghastly. I should probably have led with Quillfish instead. It's not too late to swap him in, of course. I'm gonna do that. It's worth noting that the uh, their Wisp, their, their Ghastly clone, is dangerous because it, it's doing a Bulbasaur and building up a bunch of charge stacks. And then once it's uh, once it's ready, it can literally just unleash and, and kill something. And it's not a pretty thing to have happen. I think that's the Golem dead, though. So what I'm going to do is... What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Protect? Protect Bulbasaur? It seems so weird to use a tank to shield a tank, but I don't really care what happens to Woobat. He's done his work now. I kind of want him to die so I can have an easy swap in. Protect does cost 200 mana. Should probably be saving my mana. Let's just... Hmm. Items, huh? <laughs> Remember how these exist? That could potentially be my key to victory here. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's just attack that, I guess. See if we can get the poison to do some work on that. That's fine. I feel like I was overrating that bird. I think it can do decent single target damage, but I don't think it's anything I need to be particularly massively concerned about. Particularly massively. I'm gonna try to switch Geibel in. Yeah, I think that's sensible. Oh, Toxic Slam would fuck that up so hard. But I don't really want the Magnetor coming in, so yeah, we'll... Keep with the plan. That's fine, that's fine. Yeah, that's pretty dangerous, but it's, it's not this, is it? <laughs> Not quite on the same level. It's just a race at this point to see if I can kill the moth before it kills my entire team. It's a sad way to live, honestly. Oh, look at that, that's fucking miserable. Where is my damage? Oh, there we go, at least Quillfish is fucking delivering. Quillfish was a fucking good choice, I think. I know he has mana issues, but... He has pretty decent damage on him, and... Uh, can stack poison pretty easily. And those are basically all I need from anyone. I think he's dead now, though. That burn's gonna finish him, right? Yeah. Okay, I think that's probably... my life over now. falling into plan B, which is to remove the buffs from the, the moth with Cleansing Flame. I feel like they replace them just as quickly as I remove them, but, you know, it's something. That shouldn't be too bad, he's got no charge stacks. Good, 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 good. This will be quite bad, but I should live it. And this is something. All right. Okay. Okay. Not too bad. Not too not too shabby.
Bulbasaur sitting on those 50 charge stacks now. I might have to drop a tackle next turn to see if it will help help me finish this fucker off. <sighs> Kinda need to encapsulate. Gotta keep my healers alive. This might be a battle of attrition and if it is then I'm gonna need both my healers up. And we're still in it. Got rank 4 heal. Wanted to attack this turn, but that heal felt necessary. Yes! Good, 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 good. The bird is also nearly down. Um, Might be worth putting some damage into something here. Maybe just cleansing some buffs off the, the support, dude. Yeah, I didn't expect the bird to go down, but that's fine. Don't really want Guybor to die. If you can hold him one more turn, that will be real nice. Thank you. Ignore the bird. The Minotaur is definitely the bigger threat here. Oh, it is weak to Cleansing Flame. It's not a huge amount of damage. Stripping those buffs would be real nice right now. But... I think that's it for Guyable. But I do still have two monsters in backup, which is nice. It's real nice. Okay, took that real well, actually. Gamble might live this turn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Holy shit. I'm not saying anything. I'm not jinxing anything. I'm just saying... You know. You know what I'm thinking. We all know what I'm thinking right now. I'm just saying. Like, you know what I'm thinking. You know what I mean? You feeling me? Feeling me on this? Keep Gable alive, fuck it. Poison working its magic. His last monster is out. He has two support monsters and a Magnetor on the field right now. I still have five of my team alive. Again, not saying anything. Not saying a single fucking word. There will be no jinxing here. We do not shred, because... Interesting thing about the Electric Beetle, I'm not sure I've actually seen a fight with it happen. Like, on on record. But every time you hit it, it, gains, it gives shielding to its whole party. So hitting that would give shielding to the Magnetor, which means it might not die. And we need the Magnetor to die. You can probably kill it with down ranking, though. Rank 2, especially considering we've got Poison Ticks, should be enough. Meaning we can then go in hard on the Wisp next turn. Poison is working its magic. Chipping away at the, at, at the Electric Beetle thing. Again, I'm not saying it. Even now, even now that we're, we're, we're five versus two, I'm not saying it. I'm just putting the vibes out there, you know? I'm going to do a tackle this turn. That's how confident I am. But I'm not saying it. I'm not saying a single fucking word. Even now that it's five versus one, I have no desire to actually say it. Even now, 
despite everything. Knowing that Will has done nothing but defeat me, I have literally never won a match against this man. I'm not getting my hopes up. Even now, even now that his last monster has disintegrated into powder, I'm not saying a word. Even now that he's giving his loser's speech, I'm not, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> that was a good fight, wasn't it? Remember when we first met in the Blue Caves? We were both just Keeper Aspirants. Or Julio and Lend were Keeper Lancers. Now I'm a Keeper Ranger and I thought I'd grown so much, but I think you've grown way more than I have. I'm so sure about that, dude, seriously. <laughs> Don't discourage yourself. Your Spectral Wolf will be proud to see you right now, Will. Thank you, but Digi Digiflow shows me how much better I can still become. Please don't become better. Please give up. That is true, but because of your drive, I pronounce you worthy of the title of Spectral Keeper. You should come with us. Thank you. It means a lot to me. I'll go ahead to the door to the abandoned tower then. It should just be straight ahead. <sighs> okay, I'll say it. I think I might win this one. <laughs> Holy shit. You have no idea how... Well, you do know. It's all there on record how fucking defeated I've been feeling in this game recently. But we finally overcome that hurdle. Of course, it's only going to get harder from here on out, but that's a problem for future Joe. Oh, there she is, everyone. I've been waiting for you. Eric already told us about everything. Can't open the gate to the abandoned tower without four spectral familiars, can we? Well, that's an issue, because we've only got two. I'm just not sure if we count as spectral keepers if we've lost our spectral familiars. Quit your yammering. Each one of us has made it here through the most dangerous areas of the sanctuary. We're the ones who are willing to do anything it takes to save the sanctuary. If not us, who do you think that scoundrel who s Try that again. If not us, do you think that scoundrel who stole our familiars through trickery and subterfuge deserves to be called a spectral keeper? Nay, I refuse to believe that. Surely nobody will deny that we remain the true Spectral Keepers of the Sanctuary. Huh, maybe you're right. Let's try to open the gate so we can find out for sure. We need that key of power you found in the Underworld to open it. You want me to open this? I'm just... I just kind of want to... Oh, okay. I said I was going to be like, oh, I want to go past and see what's beyond, but turns out that's where we're going. Insert the key of power now. We're ready to face the monsters of the abandoned tower as well as the alchemists waiting inside. Did it. I did the the, the impressive feat of pressing the X button. <laughs> wow. I feel like we could have just gone through that with the drill or something, but whatever. We really did it. We opened the gate to the abandoned tower. So, we are still Spectral Keepers in spirit, I suppose. Spectral Keepers, I finally found you. I risked my hide getting here. Phew. Phew. What happened? You're the jailkeeper, aren't you? That I am, it says in my name box. Although I didn't do a good job being one. Here's what happened. I was watching over those two alchemists you caught, as is my duty. But suddenly, it was like a smoke bomb exploded and enveloped the entire jail and its surrounding areas. And before I even had a chance to call for help, I heard the alchemist's cell opening and the alchemist's escaping. Do we think our, our quote-unquote friend, the alchemist who we were helping through the, the workshop, just went and broke out the other two from prison? At first I tried to find that Keeper Dragoon, Eric, but nobody seems to know where he is. Last time I saw him was when the gate to the Underworld was opened. Strange. I hope he's alright. Anyway, you did a good job informing us. Please keep looking for Eric and let him know that we opened the Abandoned Tower. The Abandoned Tower? Alright, I'll do my best. Let me just catch my breath for a moment. I guess we'll be seeing those two alchemists again in the abandoned tower. Seems like just about the entire order of alchemists is waiting for us, aside from the one that we, you know, turned to our side, hopefully, maybe. No matter. Our battle plan stays the same. Try to stick close to each other as we explore the tower. Follow me. The final area. It is here. This is it. If we defeat those alchemists, you, Will, Leonard, and Julia will become legends among the keepers of the Monster Sanctuary. Let's do our best to go down as heroes in the history books. Alright, and, you know, save the world too, right? It's not all about our personal fucking legacy, right? I don't know, maybe it is. 
I'm just hoping I don't have to fight all of the alchemists again. I'm assuming, like, my NPC friends are going to take some of them out, and I'm just going to have to fight, like, Chimes and Marduk, probably. The ones we haven't fought yet. Ooh. Hello. A quote-unquote new monster that we, uh, have only fought as a champion or an enemy trainer monster in the past, and some actual new monsters. Spooky Grim Reapers. Big fan of these. Thanatos. Like Thanos. He is like reaching out to do a finger snap, isn't he? It's crazy. I've never. I've, I've still just not fucking seen those movies at all. Well, I've seen the first Avengers movie. That's the only one I've seen. But that's not going to stop me fucking referencing Thanos at every given opportunity. <laughs> because I can. Is this thing going to have the bullshit? No, it doesn't have the shield itself when it gets hit ability. Interesting. We can just bully this one. I predict a riot. Echo frame level 5? Oh, fuck. Wasn't expecting to get my ass handed to me by the first wild encounter we wander into, but... Shows what I know, I guess. Seems to me like we need to, uh, we need to make Wubat a lot tankier. Any monster who routinely gets one shot by other things is pretty much useless in this game. There's so much emphasis on healing and shit that, like, if you're not, if you're not able to be healed, then you're useless. Wubat can do big numbers and cover a lot of type advantages, so I, I definitely don't want to remove him from the team, but I don't know, maybe if we look into his equipment and his, his food, we can maybe do something to make him a bit more survivable. I feel like I've given all my good uh, defensive equipment out to people already, though. Mostly Execute, honestly, because uh, he was pretty fragile himself for a while. Not so much these days, though. These days he does alright. I think with Bulbasaur and Gaiable are the MVPs of this game, hands down. Bulbasaur especially, but I mean, Gaiable's damage numbers and the fact that he can take a beating himself makes him almost as, as impressive. The other four party members have always just sort of been also there, I guess. Yeah, if anything, I'd probably say Execute and Quillfish are probably the, the best ones. Gastly's definitely the weakest. And then Wubat, I don't know. Needs a rework, possibly. Maybe I should swap Gastly out. Maybe that's a that's a possibility, because I just... He just never seems to achieve much anymore. It was great early game when he was the shielding monster who was keeping my whole team alive, but these days... Maybe a Beetloid. We want something that shields. Beetaloids, they kind of do that. They kind of do that. Oh, I got some eggs when I was grinding, by the way. These are nothing. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna vend them or whatever. Uh, what's a beetle? Heracross? I guess Heracross. That's not how you spell Heracross. Neither's that. There we go. <laughs> Her Ross. I feel like there is a more modern Pokemon that resembles that thing a bit better, but I can't be bothered thinking about what that would be right now. Let's have a quick look at this fella. Okay, he has only lightning spells. He has shielding, which is very nice. Um, I don't know where he ha gets the thing where if he takes damage he shields everything, but it's very, very good. He's definitely a shield focus guy. Hmm. I'm assuming it's one of these sort of lower tier ones. Shield self for 60 when receiving a charge stack. Interesting. That could work quite well. 
with my boy uh, Bulbasaur. It might be his uh, shifted ability, actually. Recover mana when healed. Eh. Yeah. No, we'll, we'll, we'll leave it for now. If we get a shifting stone, we'll look into maybe seeing what we can do with him. Although, to be fair, Quillfish probably should get it first, right? Quillfish is a pretty cool guy. Why is... Hmm. Hold on. That did do something. Okay. That was odd. I wasn't expecting that to be a, a lever. Defense. Hmm. I feel like that, that is stinking of progress right now, so I'm going to go look in the other direction. Interesting. What the fuck are these furries? Oh, someone's definitely jerked off to those. The sad thing is, I quite like them. <laughs> I, need, I need to activate a water orb. Thank you. Ruby, 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 Ruby! Uh, uh, uh. What are you? What's your deal? You're weak to nature. Okay. You can be weak to nature. That can be your thing. I don't mind. I feel like we definitely want to kill the uh, the bad man first, though. Mm. No, no, we're focusing. We're focusing. I don't want it to spectral flame Woo Bat and killing him, kill him in one turn again. Not that we can really do much about that if he chooses to do it this turn, but. We can at least set the stage for that not happening next turn. Oh, they're healers. Wasn't expecting them to be healers. Oh, they're not. I guess not everyone is, is one-track minded. A lot of these monsters can do lots of different things. Multi-talented. They don't, they don't deserve to be pigeonholed. Don't pigeonhole the furries. Unless they're into that. That does sound like the sort of thing a furry will be into, or at least a feathery. The pigeons, as far as I know, only have the one hole. I don't know what they would do with that, but I'm sure I'm sure furries know exactly what they would do with that. The, the wild encounters around here are fucking brutal. It's nuts. I was not expecting a life or death struggle with a, a random fox monster. But here we are. This is my Saturday. <laughs> to be fair, that isn't really much of a heal. It's mostly good for removing debuffs, I would say. It seems to be its main thing. It's kind of annoying that I have just found a, a new, fairly powerful physical monster. Like immediately after being on the hunt for a new fairly powerful physical monster for my team. <laughs> That's just how it goes, I suppose. Now we're after a magic monster. Like perhaps one of those spooky ghosts. I think maybe that's not going to die of poison and I overestimated it. Oh, maybe it is. Maybe it is. Are they stealing my buffs? Is that what just happened? I might have misread the situation there, but it certainly looked like it stole my buff when it attacked me. Not a big fan of that, if that's what it's doing. I don't look forward to the time when I run into a trainer who has one of these as an ace and it just fucking destroys me. Steals all my buffs and becomes a god. Yeah, they're using Cleansing Flame, which is what Execute uses, but I'm pretty certain Execute doesn't take the buffs it cleanses. I don't think that's a thing. So it must be a, a thing special to this. A unique ability. Uh, 
And I don't like it. And I'm going to kill it. Maybe not this turn, but I am going to kill it. <laughs> I'm going to attack with Bulbasaur. That's how determined I am to end this thing. I'm not even going to use a super effective move, just going to zap it because that's all it deserves. Probably not getting an egg for that, am I? No. Damn. A man can dream, though. New Quillfish skill. Uh, were we going for something on Quillfish? I was kind of leaning towards getting all this, like, tanky shit down here. I don't think there's really much else that good. I mean, the higher levels of Tidal Wave, maybe, but... To be fair, if those stack, then which I assume they do, or else why would I have it in the tree twice, then that's going to be very useful to, to get again. So I'll, I'll get that. Right. Moving on up. This is just down to where we just were. Yep. Okay, cool. Next room. So this tower seems to just be full of all the champion monsters, which is cool because I haven't previously been able to catch those. It's called like a Satsuma. I mean, it's not quite called a Satsuma, but it's kind of called a Satsuma. It's close enough that I thought of a Satsuma when I read its name. And that's really all that matters. Uh, we know the Satsume isn't actually that threatening, and I can't remember what the zombies do, so I guess we'll kill the zombies first. Yeah, worst thing about the Satsume is that it, um, it, it steals my buffs, but I think we can live with that. Yeah, that's much worse. That's much worse. That could wipe me. That could be the end of me. I may have to run. I may have to run from this combat. And I'm not happy that that's something that's, that's happening to me right now. Go on, kill it, please. End it. Yeah, cool. We might be alright now. It depends... Okay, yeah, they, they did a, a stupid. They did a stupid, so we'll be fine. Went in trying to steal my buffs, ended up getting a stack of poison. What a nerd. I can't leave that, it seems to be slowly dying of poison. It's its own worst enemy, really. Much like most furries. <laughs> I sometimes feel bad for ragging on fairies, but they really do bring it on themselves. Like, most people don't make their sexual fetishes, preferences, whatever, their entire identity. Whereas furries, furries kind of do, you know what I mean? Fur furries will go online with a picture of a fucking anthropomized fox as their, their avatar and talk about how much they like yiffing in a public place so like if people shit on them they, they, they kind of they kind of brought it on themselves you know what I mean is that fair to say doesn't really matter if it isn't I'm gonna say it anyway does anyone have a gauntlet equipped I feel like someone had a gauntlet equipped I might have removed it though I think We've got better shit for the most part now. Yeah, okay. Okay. Ah, oh, three choices. I pick this one. I don't pick this one. I pick this one. No, I definitely don't pick this one. Okay. Still so many things we don't know how to solve. Still so many issues with the world. Mostly that I can't go through tiny holes or way down big switches. But those are all the issues I need in the world, really. 
mean, what worse could there possibly be? Oh, one of those Kirins would be pretty cool, actually. I am a sucker for a basic bitch monster. You know what I mean? One that's just like an animal. I, I love them. It's like my favorite Pokemon's Arcanine. You know, it's just a big dog, but it's cool. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, it's pretty rad. I guess I guess we'll fight these guys. See if we can get an, an egg of any of the three. A chance at three different eggs in, in one fight is not something to be turned down. I don't think. Uh, yeah, fo focus the spooky. Gave it shot, gave it burn, all looking very nice. Yeah, that is the sort of one downside, if you like, to Guyable, is that he doesn't really do debuffs. <sighs> I really thought he might hang in for a second there. But for one second, Woobat would actually prove that he's not a flimsy little piece of paper, but what do I know? Thing is, I don't know. I know the uh, inventories have upgraded back in town as I've been progressing through the game. I think it upgrades with Keeper rank. But I don't actually know if I've, like, got a got access to buying, like, decent food anywhere yet. Because I know uh, Woobat has a bunch of just plus crit damage, I think, equipped at the moment, which isn't super useful. I should just give him some, some straight up HP. But I don't have any of the good HP items, because I've given them to other people, so... Uh-oh. I think I might lose this one. I feel like I have blacked out to, to wild Pokemon before, right? That is a thing that has happened. I think it just resets you to like the previous screen or something, right? It's nothing too serious. I really wish this ghost would die though. been intentionally focusing it from the start of this fight and it's still not dead. I refuse to run. I'm no coward. Gaiable will take them all on. <laughs> it's alright, the dang of poison. I've got this. What's the worst that could happen? What's the worst that could happen? There it is. There's the worst that could happen. I found it. Oh, I lost gold. I guess I can live with that. I guess we're not going to fight those. They're, they're, they're too hard for me, apparently. That's too tough a fight. That group of, of wild monsters. Can I, can I skip these ones as well? Oh, fuck off, Will. If you think for a second I'm fighting you, I'm not even going to talk to him. Just on the off chance that he wants another fight. I want none of that. Jesus Christ, what are those? Everything's strong and scary around here. I'm very intimidated. I guess we'll fight him. Or... Or we'll keep skipping them. And just keep climbing the tower. What could possibly go wrong? At least we're getting a lot of loot out of it, you know? Finding some neat shit. Like a staff plus five. Hmm. Hmm, says I. Very nice. Yeah, maybe we swap this cape out on you. For something that makes you a little bit less dead all the time. Can't help but notice that there is no separate physical and magic defense in this game. I don't know what that means. I don't know what magical attacks go against. Presumably it just all goes against defense, right? Right? Is that is that too crazy uh, an assumption? Oh, you should totally just be using this Omni Ring anyway. Yeah, we're, we're going to upgrade the Omni Ring for him. As soon as I find a, a teleport point in this tower, which I'm sure there will be one, 
right? Maybe. Hopefully. Aha! I can break this. Here's something I can achieve. Here's the small victory I can get today. Some gold. Uh huh. Is this. No? Standing on them both didn't do anything? Oh, because there's more. There's more buttons. There are many buttons. I don't know how that all works, but I have opened this. I've opened a shortcut, so hooray for me. Apparently there's a passageway halfway up here. Did I just miss that? Is it that? No. Okay. Where's this... Where's this passageway that I'm... Oh, it's just here. <laughs> it's literally just a passage you can walk into. I'm just being a classic dumb fuck. I'm definitely not fighting two ghosts. That's way too many ghosts. Mm, let me up. Hey, Leonard. I'm not talking to you either. I have absolutely no desire to fight anyone. Oh, this feels ominous. I'm just, I'm just on the hunt for a save point. Well, not a save point, whatever you want to call them. A teleport point. A warp point. Is that destructible up there? I can't use it in midair, so I guess I'll never know. Oh, don't you dare. Have you noticed anything strange about so far about the abandoned tower? We've already covered more than half of the tower. I had a look at the next couple rooms. Still, none of us have found any trace of the alchemist so far. The entire place to see seems to be, well, abandoned. Do you actually know for sure that Marduk and the other alchemists are here? Where do we know that from? Ah, oh, fuck. You know it from a most reliable source, me! <laughs> Alchemists, I knew it. You were actually following us, weren't you? You have a deepest gratitude for opening up the abandoned tower for us. You were using us all along. That's right, it, all it took was a simple lie. <laughs> Marduk isn't in the tower, is he? He never was. But where has he been all that time? Nobody's seen him in the sanctuary for hundreds of years. Wrong. It's been hundreds of years since I've worn my true face. Eric? No. You're not really Eric. You figured it out. The man you've been calling Eric, whom you thought to be a Keeper Dragoon, was actually our leader, Marduk. But how? Eric is an accomplished monster keeper who has been known to the Sanctuary for his entire life. Twenty-three years ago, I ambushed Eric while he was traveling in the Magma Chamber. Given the territory, it was easy to dispose of his body, and I used an ancient forbidden alchemical method to take on his appearance and voice, just as I had done with many other monster keepers for the last 300 years. The best mask is the one that nobody suspects. The frozen oracle called you an undying devil. We see now that she wasn't exaggerating at all. As a spectral familiar, one of the immortal guardians of the sanctuary, I swear to you that you will pay for what you've done. You can't stop us now. In fact, you've only helped us so far. Ostenes, Valahar, Chimes, take care of these two. Zosimos, come with me. Hey, not so fast. Don't go running off now, haha. <laughs> I'm itching for a fight against another Spectral Keeper. We won't let you pass without a fight either. Isn't that right, Ostenes? Huh? Oh, that's right. This time you have to fight, fight both of us at the same time, ha <laughs> ha. Oh, how I've been waiting for this moment. Let's deal with these two quickly. We don't know what the true goals of Marduk are, but we have to stop him. Shit. I, uh... Wasn't really prepared to get into a fight right now, to be honest. Can I flee? Is it legal to flee? I guess we'll just go for it. What's the worst that could happen, right? Let's see, we know Mad Eyes are dangerous, we know Kirins aren't massively dangerous, and we know Shamans are healers. Oh yeah, we can kill that Mad Eye quickly. That's definitely that's definitely number one target, I think. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. This is gonna hurt. 
actually didn't that much. Turns out the goblin was probably the most dangerous of the three, but I stand by my uh, my attacking of the mad eye. I stand by that decision. I actually quite like to see a mad eye on a team because anything we can kill quickly makes a fucking nice change of pace in this game. Cool, good start, honestly. Good start. Strong start. I'm kind of assuming we're going to have to fight Chimes like immediately after this as well. Like he's going to have kicked Julia's ass and we're going to have to pick up the slack as per usual. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, Wubat is squishy as fuck and goes down very easily. But compared to their Mad Eye? Actually not bad. Actually actually relatively, relatively tanky. It's the best AoE move to use here. Kinda of just wanna slap some debuffs about. I feel like that's the best use of uh of Wubat right now. Yeah, she's just trying to get burns on people. That was successful. That's what I like to see. I'm actually gonna shred again. Might be able to. This might be me being a bit cocky, but yeah, I thought we'd get the Kirin at least. Kind of hoping to get the Goblin as well, but you know, can't win them all. Honestly, probably better that we don't swap in two fresh monsters right off the bat. Have them come in in, in waves. Okay, okay, we're losing pr probably all three of these next turn. Do I try and save one in particular? I don't feel like it's going to make much difference. Okay. Let's go down in flames. That is dead. Next. Um, the cat zerk is the biggest threat, right? For sure. For sure. The B team are going to have to come in and do some serious work, but... We're going to set them up real nice. Oh, it survived. Fuck. Okay. Okay. That puts me in a real bad spot. I didn't think that would survive. I was so sure that was dead. Okay, the B team turns out are in an even worse spot than I uh, initially anticipated. We can play defensively. We can stall this out. I want that goblin dead. It fucking better be now. Let's try and get the strength buff off the cat Zerka. If at all possible. Damn, missed it. Ooh, that's pretty nasty. Maybe we get the seahorse next. Nope, can't circle for sure. Can't circle for sure. Have we got anything that hits the cat circle super super effectively? No, we do not. Just keep shielding then. Stack up some poison. Try and win that way. Oh, damn, no, no extra stacks. Just kinda counting on that. Too bad, that's fine. We can live with that. Yeah, honestly, we're we're doing okay here. We're stalling pretty well. I just don't know if we're actually gonna gonna be ending anything soon. Really wanna get some extra poison stacks on this fucker. No. I can stack poison to five, I know I can. I just, it, I, it just doesn't seem that keen on happening at the moment.
Okay, okay, okay. We're getting some damage. Might go all out on the Cat Zerka next turn. I think we'll be able to survive attacks from the other two. Uh, I might have to heal Quillfish actually. I've just got nothing that hurts it is the problem. Like, that's, there's just no point doing that. Please give me more stacks. Is it Bulbasaur that allows my stacks to go? My poison stacks to go to five? Then I thought it was Quillfish. It seems very unlikely that I wouldn't have gained any more stacks by now if they could go higher, right? Right. We are slowly whittling that Cat Zerka down, but at the same time, they're slowly whittling us down too. I feel like they've won this battle of attrition, and that's not not good for me at all. Some nice crits there, but doesn't mean anything. needed to get through the shield and we didn't. Probably going to be in trouble this turn. Oh, especially if he uses Firestorm. Shit, I didn't know he had that. If I can just kill the Cat Zerker, I'll be fine, but... Please, just crit the shit out of it. Yes, yes, that might be it. That might be enough. Please. Yes, thank fuck. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Seahorse next. I mean... These guys are nowhere near as hard as Will. <laughs> that much is clear as day. But, uh, still. It's nice to overcome. And I think that's exactly what we're doing right now. Trying to kill the seahorse, but I feel like the salamander's gonna die first. <laughs> okay, chilling wind is actually some okay damage against this thing. Plus, you know, still getting shielding from that, so might as well. I don't feel like we need a heal. This might be dumb, but fuck it. YOLO, as the kids say. The kids still say YOLO, right? The kids definitely don't still say YOLO. <laughs> At least, not unironically. <laughs> I, uh, I, I feel bad for besmirching Gastly's good name. He's done a lot for me this fight. I feel like we would have lost this if it weren't for Gastly. So yeah. I'm back with being happy with my team again. Just need to get them some slightly better gear and stuff. What? How could this happen, Osthenes? We had the perfect strategy. Hey, it's not my fault. I did my part perfectly. Hey, it looks like we missed the action. Did you defeat both of them, did you, Flo? We did, but that's not important right now. We've been deceived. Over 20 years ago, Marduk took on the appearance and identity of Eric, and he used us to open up the abandoned tower. The alchemists weren't waiting in the tower. They just followed us inside. Unbelievable. Marduk used our trust against us. Bad news. I'm still trying to process how it happened, but I also lost against Chimes. That means he's got my familiar now, too. 
That makes it three. That ruthless villain of a brother. I'm sorry for your loss, Julia. I know exactly how it feels. But it's okay, because I've got this killer moth now. No matter. We need a new plan. Will, you and I should put these two alchemists away again. Once we've done that, we'll come back here as fast as possible. Sounds good. Let's go. I feel like one of them could have done that, and the god that is Will could have stuck around and won the game for us, but whatever. And I will scout ahead again. It's not like I have much else to do to lose now anyway. Don't worry. I know we'll get our Spectra Familiars back. The Alchemists don't have anywhere to run now. Yeah, but they do have some incredibly powerful monsters. And I think Chimes and Marduk are going to be ridiculous fights that I'm going to re really struggle with, but we'll see. She's right. All we can do now is to keep is to keep follow this path to the top of the tower. Sure. No doubt we'll have to face chimes along the way as well. Don't worry about me. I know that you're a remarkable monster keeper. Our journey together has shown me that. If there's anyone who can defeat him, it's you. Thank you. I mean, I know that, obviously. I know I'm amazing. I think Will is probably the, the best choice for the job, but I would say I'm, a, I'm an even second, you know? Um, I was really hoping on finding a, a teleport at some point at some point in this area but since I've not found one yet and I've been going a while now I think I'll probably wrap up uh, thanks for watching maybe the end next time probably not though we're probably gonna have to grind more we'll see then see you around